updating the Devo transmitter firmware. What you need to do first is go to walkera.com and create a user account. Then in the top here, click Software Update. Then download Devention Diffuse USB Upgrade Tools. Then what you want to do is scroll down to the transmitter model that you have. And I'll use D Devo 10 as an example, because that's one I have. And then you're going to download one of the two on the top. There's probably going to be two for each model. One's a 10 milliwatt and one's a 100 milliwatt. Download the file that pertains to you. Once you get both this downloaded, go ahead and install the software. Uh, ends up the files. And what you're going to need to upgrade the radio, the transmitter, is the USB cable that came with the transmitter. Plug the USB cable that came with the transmitter, one end into the radio, one end goes into USB port. After you have that, open up the DFUSE USB upgrade software. Once that op is opened, press and hold the EXT button on the transmitter. And while that's being held down, flip up the power switch. Now you'll see here it just found the Devention 10 transmitter. What you want to do is where it says firmware, upgrade file, click the dialog box and open up your file Devo 10 FW that's firmware. It'll say file correctly loaded. Then all you have to do is click upgrade and at this dialog warning screen click yes. And it's now upgrading the firmware Upgrade successful. Now we want to go to library and select upgrade or verify file. Click this dialog box here and now we have to upgrade the library. So open up the Devo 10 LIB file. File correctly loaded. Next we want to hit upgrade and click yes at the dialog box. And now it's upgrading the library. And that's it, upgrade successful. You just upgraded the firmware and the library. All you do is hit quit. Turn the power off your receiver and you're done. Mm -hmm. Now I want to mention this does not erase your current models in the transmitter. They stay as they were. But as a safety, you can back them up. I would if you have the time. Just in case something goes wrong, you still have your models that you could put back in. But again, I've done the Devo 10 and Devo 7 and it has not erased my models.